My name is Steven Jackson, and today I'm here to talk to you about the basics of 360 degree leadership. And I'll start us off with a quote by Dwight D. Eisenhower. You do not lead people by hitting them over the head. That's assault, not leadership. What you don't know is that there's a lot of facts about 360 degree leadership. The fact about leadership is 99% of leadership in organizations come from the middle, not from the top. The CEO of an organization only actually performs about 1% of leadership. And no matter where you are, you are always leading someone. It doesn't matter if you're at the top, if you're at the bottom, or in the middle. There are always those to lead around you. And this isn't easy for everyone. I know myself, I've had a lot of problems, problems with leadership over the years, and it's taken a lot of work for me to be what I think a halfway decent leader today. I'll start off by telling you about who you can lead. You can lead those below you, you can lead your superiors, and most importantly, you can lead yourself. I'll start off with telling you about how you can lead others. You gotta inspire them. And you must unite your constituents around a common cause and connect with them as human beings. This is important to connect with them. But if you don't connect with them, they're not going to know who you are or where you're coming from. And they're not going to listen to what you have to say. I've certainly had this problem in the past myself. You've got to know that everyone is different. Everyone is motivated by different things. And you got to find what motivates each individual differently. A, lot of, a couple of the uh, common motivators are money. Some people will do whatever they can to get a couple extra bucks in their pocket. Also, some people will do whatever they can to step out of the office a few minutes early. The most important thing about leading others is to be kind to them. Because if you're not kind to them, then they're definitely not going to be kind to you. And even if you are kind to them, they might not want to be kind to you. But you can't do that. I'll lead this over into my next point, which is talking about leading up. you got to be kind to your superiors as well. It's great to build a strong relationship with them. If you can build a strong relationship with, with your boss outside of work, then there won't be a whole lot that's hands in your way because they will like you, they will want to be friends with you, and they will want to help you out in your quest for climbing up the ladder within your organization. To do this, you gotta talk about things outside of work. Even if you're at work, trying to work on presentations, getting things done, whatever it is, you gotta sometimes take a break, talk about other things. Like ask them how their family is, and how their daughter the gym meet just went the other day, or things like that. Also, you gotta try and make their job easier. Because if, they're, if you're making their job easier, they're going, they're going to want to work with you instead of somebody else who's making their job harder on them. Do this by not asking the unnecessary questions, by not asking them how to do every little thing about your job and just doing it and doing it well. Also, try and give them information that are easy to understand. An example of this would be, say, you're working in a big organization that, that analyzes a lot of data. So you've got a big stack of data that you need to get to your boss. Here's your option. You either just give them the data at whole, slam it on the desk, or you can take notes, organize yourself, and make points about individual subjects in there and then hand it to them. I know I would much rather receive the notes section of this data than the whole stack. Also, you gotta not focus on the negatives. If you only tell them bad news, and it looks like you're not doing a good job leading those that you are leading, and they will not want to promote you to a higher position in the organization. So when you are giving good, bad news, it's important to give good news too, because this makes it look better on you one way or another. Now the most important part of leadership, leading yourself. This should constitute about 50% of your overall effort. The process of influencing oneself to establish the self-direction and motivation needed to perform would be one of the many definitions of self-leadership. I'd like to look at this one. And yeah, part of this, you got to build a good reputation. If people see you in a good light, they're much more likely to be led by you. To do this, you got to lead by example. If your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, then you are a leader. you got to be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get angry. Because if you're talking to someone and you go off on them without cause, they will not want to work with you and they will not listen to you at all. Also important to stay motivated. If you can keep the fire burning inside you so hot and so bright that it catches the candles of all those around you, then there's nothing that can stop you. You've got to make challenging goals for yourself. If, you, if others see that you are trying to aspire to do more and they want to do more, you've got to not stop learning. There's always a better way to accomplish whatever you want to accomplish or to do what you want to do. In conclusion, 360 degree style leadership, if used efficiently, can be a very effective tool in leading not only yourself, but those below you and above you in an organization. Now, it looks like my time's about up, so uh, hopefully you left with a little bit more knowledge that you entered this room with. I'll leave you with one more quote. If 
key to success, to successful leadership today is 